All right, hey everybody, well welcome. This is uh, Mika 101. So first of all, let's meet the Mika. This is your Mika player. And this player is designed to play anything that can be put on a thumb drive, as long as it's a movie. Important, it does not play PowerPoints. So if you have PowerPoints, remember to convert them to a movie. There are only a couple of movie formats it doesn't play. If you want to find out more about it, you can look up Mika, M-I-C-C-A, online and it'll list all the movie formats. But most of you have probably already edited that. But what happens sometimes is when we've got these Mika players set up, and one of the great things about the Mika is that it allows you to loop your videos and be able to play videos constantly on a screen. And you can have discrete videos for each of your screens. So in this booth, we have one Mika for every screen. So let's talk about the Mika a little bit first. We've got a slot in the front where the SD or the uh, USB card goes. There is also an SD card here, although I've never had anybody use one. Um, the important business end of it, there's a couple things you need to make your Mika successful. One is you need an HDMI cable, and this plays true 1080p, and it will upscale most video to 1080, so it's really awesome. The second thing the Mika needs is it needs power. And this is a fun little fact, but uh, the, the uh, adapter for the Mika player will actually fit in either of these holes but it only wants to go in one, the one that says DCN. And if you're in doubt, there's a little pin in the center that you can probably see just a little bit there. And then, but this one over here is actually for a microphone or for uh, headphones. And, but the, but the power cord fits in there just fine. And the problem is we've had people report, oh, my Mika's not working. Well, you plug the power in the wrong side. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you plug the Mika in, you're gonna get a green light. Now, when you find your Mika, your Mika is going to be living on the back side of the TV, right in behind here. And the reason we do that is we want to keep the loop short, but we also want to have a specific place. Um, so what you should see when your Mika is set up correctly is you should see a green light on the face of your Mika. And again, your Mika is going to be on the side over here. And we notice that we've got it plugged into HDMI 3. And then we went ahead and selected our input as HDMI 3, right there. So now the important thing is, when you've got your movie, your movie's going to go into the player. Actually, let's, we'll hold it out here so you can see what we're doing. So the movie goes into the player. And usually the player is going to recognize it uh, right away, right away. But in any event, so then you've got some choices. So your main navigation wheel is this round wheel around the outside. And if you notice here on the screen, oops, one little thing about Mika is you always have to be pointed at the Mika. So you can see I'm going through the different options. And what you're going to want to play is you're going to want to play movie. USB device, and there's our movie. And we're going to hit play, and then it's going to play. Now, sometimes the power shuts off overnight, so all this gets reset, so you might have to redo this. The important thing you need to remember to do now is we want this to loop over and over again, right? So there's a button on here that says repeat, and we're going to push repeat, and watch the screen. Your choices, we're going to say repeat all. And what that's going to do is that's going to loop all the video files that are on the USB over and over and over again. If I've only got one, that's fine, you can use that. If you only want to play one file, then you want to use the setting which is repeat one. So that's it. That's all there is to the Mika. Troubleshooting these, number one thing is people put the power in the wrong side. Number two thing is uh, bad HDMI cables. We'll test all of this beforehand, but that's all there is to it. So when this is in its position back here on the side, the thing to remember, some people get frustrated and they start pointing their remote at the screen and it doesn't work. You have to point the remote at the Mika. So now I'm going to say play, USB device, there we go. And then resume playback, yes. Now even though I've resumed playback, it, does, it is not set up to repeat. So we do need to go back in and do our repeat. So that's our repeat right there. 
and then it'll just loop over and over again. That's all there is to it. It's really simple. You're going to love it. Thank you.